Hello again, this is Sandra Hart at Life Over 60. Today we're going to do the 10, 10, 10. 10 simple looks that in 10 minutes that will help you look 10 years younger. I haven't quite been on YouTube for two years yet, but it's been fun doing all the different makeovers and the different looks. But today, what I'm doing is actually more like the real me. Less is more. Let your personality and skin show through. Hello and welcome. This is Sandra. So glad you could join me today. As you know, if you've been following me, I am someone who really has a very light hand in makeup. Uh, a lot of times I don't use foundation. I just use a BB cream that has sunscreen protection in it. And I don't really uh, overdo on my makeup unless I'm going out at night and I want to be very dramatic. So for me at my age and the older I get, it's less is more. So today, I am going to show you how, in 10 minutes, with 10 simple steps, you just might be able to look 10 years younger. So let's go, and I'm going to do a voiceover with my Get Ready With Me. If you've watched me enough, you know I usually don't wear foundation unless I'm going out in the evening. So what I can do is I take my BB cream or you can take your regular foundation and you cut it in half with your moisturizer. I use the Avon's Illuminatas. It's sort of like just a little bit of a glow and I mix a few drops with my BB cream. But, you know, don't overdo the glow. And I just uh, rub it in gently. You know, I have so much coming up in the next couple of weeks. I am flying to New York to be with my husband we're going to kind of hang out for a couple of weeks and then we're going to go on our cruise on the Queen Mary 2. It's going to be a lot of fun. And next week, my son's album that he has dedicated to Arthur is coming out. He started when Arthur was 90. Arthur just celebrated his 93rd birthday, so it took him about three years to write it, produce it, and have it mastered. It's really complicated when you record. It's not just as easy as it seems. There are a lot of different steps uh, that you have to go through, you know, designing the album cover and everything. So this is what I do. And now I'm just taking a little bit of concealer under my eyes, of course, to hide the shadows under my eye. I just do it, you know, a little gently, just gently. I never pull, I just pump. And you see, I'm always using my fingers. I don't know whether I'm really not a professional makeup artist. So my let my fingers do the walking. It's just much easier. And because I dye my eyebrows, I just have to touch them up just a little bit. You know, the front part of your eyebrow is where the sun hits the most. So a lot of times it gets a little bit lighter than the rest of your brow because of that. So I just touch it up lightly with a, uh, a light brown liner. And then, of course, you know, I brush my brows a little bit. And sometimes I just put a little bit of um, castor oil or something, just a tiny little drop to, to give them a little moisture. But I am excited. Uh, November is going to be a, a really busy month for all of us. And now I'm using uh, my Chanel Scintillance. Any light um, eyeshadow that you have works, just not heavy. Now this is just a very natural look that I'm doing. I'm not even thinking about the dramatic look and the more uh, makeup you wear when you go out. And I always put just a little bit of uh, lighter color in the corner of my eyes where it tends to get a little bit dark. And then I take uh, the shadow that I'm using 
that's Rimmel Spice, and I'm just using the three colors that are the lightest in that palette. And I bring the darker color up just a little bit up into my brow bone. And of course, I smudge it to be sure that everything is nice and even and I don't have any demarcation lines at all. And of course, there goes those fingers. If you all noticed, I am left-handed. So I, I do a lot of stuff with my left hand and there are the colors that I'm using in the Rimmel Spice. And then I just very lightly, I don't want to do it heavy, but just very lightly touch my brow bone with a little bit of color. So Arthur and I will be spending Thanksgiving on board a ship visiting the islands this year. It's the first time we've ever gone away for Thanksgiving. So it's going to be something just a little bit different and unique, I think. Uh, we've been on that ship before, but never during uh, Thanksgiving. On Arthur's 90th birthday, I took the family on the ship uh, Cross Atlantic, and that was just before Christmas, and the ship was all decorated in holiday decorations. It was so, so beautiful. All right, now I have done that, and I tight line. I just happen to have liquid tight liner, so I just tight line very, 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 very lightly both eyes on the top. And if you notice, I do not put anything on my lower lid because sometimes that really pulls down your your eye and makes it look darker and this is an Avon and you can use a bronzer it's just like an Avon stick that is a bronzing stick and I usually bring it up on my forehead and it's sort of like a backward E or a I guess you could call it a three and this is my boom stick I really I, I'm not I like her boomsticks. That's all I'm going to say. I'm going very positive. I really enjoy her boomsticks. I use them a lot. Uh, they absorb into the skin and uh, make everything look so natural. So again, you know, I'm using those old fingers to uh, blend everything in. And if you are love brushes, please use your brushes or your makeup sponges Whatever is comfortable for you, this is just my personal preference, and I don't advocate it for everybody. Now, I line my lips. This is the, my Linda Rodin uh, light lip liner. And, of course, as we get older, it looks so much natural to have a lighter lipstick drama at night for the day if you want to go for that that's perfectly I understand but during the day the lighter the lip the younger we look and this is my Marc Jacobs but any light lipstick that you have and if you wear makeup I'm sure you have a whole stash of lipsticks that you can choose from and uh, then I just smooth it around with my lipstick brush just to make it even. And a lot of times what I'll do, I also have an Avon, you know, my daughter sells Avon, so she supplies me with all of these great things. Actually, Avon is a very underrated company. It has a lot of good products. This is just a little illuminator also in a stick form, and I just touch it at the top of my cheekbone just to give myself a little extra glow. Well, that's the look. We're going into fall and in winter, and we can kind of play around. I want you to play around with what you already have. There's no need to buy new makeup. So just play around with the things that you already have in your stash. When you put makeup on like that, it lets your face shine. It lets your inner glow show through. Thank you so much for joining me today for this little tutorial. Uh, please do something wonderful for yourself today and uh, give a smile to someone who crosses your path and don't forget to share the love. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. Have a great, great day and I hope to see you in my next video.